The new bird room is now complete. The new cages are inside and all of the birds are inside. So let's go and take a look. The first thing we need to do is go and fetch our flight cages. Now we're off to San Juan Bird Products in Burton-on-Trent this morning, so let's head out now. been to San Juan Bird Products, that's the cages in the back of the van now, uh, so we've got a good hour's drive back home, we'll get them in and then we'll take a look at them. These are the new aluminium flight cages we picked up from San Juan Bird Products. To give you a little bit of information about these, they're six foot long, they're six foot high and each cage is two foot deep. Now we've got them so we can have a variety of different birds and it's gonna give us loads of flexibility. So we can divide them off into three foot long, three foot high and two foot deep cages, or we can take the divider out and make that a six foot long flight cage, two feet deep and three feet high. That's a really quite a big flight cage to be honest. And these are absolutely fabulous. They're gonna work so well for keeping so many different species and they're gonna give me the flexibility to keep all sorts. So we can get birds fitting them in the conditioning period, which is gonna to start today, or we can keep them for breeding, which are gonna be perfect. So we've got a nice big style cage for any native bird almost, crossbills, hawfinches, yellow hammers maybe, even possibly softbills, which is something that I'm going to explore for the next breeding season. Or, you know, it doesn't have to be those, it could also be something more exotic. We could have a pair of cockatiels, or we could have a pair of terracos maybe. Gives me so many options, and these are absolutely brilliant. They're made of aluminium. They've got uh, some great plastic on them as well, some UPVC. Uh, the doors are fabulous as well. Brilliant, all riveted together, all very well done. Uh, and it means that accessing the inside is really easy for me as well. We've got big style doors that are very easy to access the inside to clean out and bring chicks or change anything that we need to uh, like that. So absolutely brilliant and we've also got them on wheels so we can wheel them about and if we don't like them here or here or even like this then the wheels give me the full flexibility to do that and these are absolutely stunning pieces of work a massive thank you goes to sam at sam one bird products if you are interested in getting some aluminium flight cages or any an aluminium animal housing even sells uh, various medications various supplements uh, various seeds as well which uh, he's kindly sent me previously then make sure to drop him a message place an order with him and i'll leave a link in the description to this video for sam one's website and his uh, facebook page these are fantastic, so let's take a closer look around them. This is the next block of cages. It's 12 foot long, each cage is 18 inches, another 18, and then it's 18 inches deep, which is really quite big, and then the front is two foot long. So these are absolutely massive, and these are very kindly made by Dave Rands. I'll also leave a link to his Facebook and his website in the description. They're all UPVC, and they're just brilliant pieces of kit. We've got all pull-out drawers, we've got the seed hoppers, cage fronts, even uh, dividers here. So one of the things that we had to do with these is make them in two blocks. As you can see, there is a join sort of down here. This is so we've got a six foot block and another six foot block. It means that transporting's easier. And then when I want to take them out and deep clean, then we've got that freedom and option to do so. These are absolutely stunning as well, I must say. So these are gonna be fantastic for breeding 
most of our native birds in as well, I must admit. One of the reasons that we made them so big was for the native birds, to give them that extra space and to give us so much more flexibility for these cages. So if it comes to something like a pair of linnets or something, if we wanted to give them a, a six foot flight that's 18 inches deep, 18 inches high, it's gonna help keep them fit and they're gonna be quite comfortable. Even native bullfinches, twites, red poles, green finches, chaffinches, brambles, I think it would be appropriate for most of those species and these are gonna give me so much flexibility. And like I said earlier, if it comes that we decide to get something else, like I don't know, a pair of cockatiels that we're not gonna put in the flight cages, they could realistically comfortably breed in here. They've also got the finch fronts, so easy to access for nest sites, just in there. Fantastic pieces of work. So huge thank you goes to Dave Rand for uh, both making them and delivering for me as well. Uh, and we've got them all the way to the floor. Uh, reason being, we've got those bottom ones, so it's the overflow place. So anything that we, we keep that we aren't breeding off, maybe we keep a spare greeny hen um, in case one dies, or even the mules or hybrids, they can go on that bottom row where they're not really any use for breeding uh, and they can just stay down there and they're happy. This is the last block of cages, which was also made by Dave Rams. Now you might recognize these from the outdoor bird room, which we made last breeding season. I picked these up in about April of 2022 and we bred a various amounts of birds in them. We bred some bullfinch hybrids. We bred, oh, we tried to breed some bullfinch hybrids anyway. That's more to come this year. Uh, red poles and we also bred a lot of canaries in sort of the bottom sections. Now these were of course made by Dave Rams as well. Just to give you a comparison, that's a two foot long by 18 inch sort of cage that's obviously a lot smaller uh, but these are going to still be suitable for some of the smaller natives the red poles linnets maybe siskins but definitely canaries and they're going to give us loads of options even mule in pairs so that's the final block that's an eight foot long block as well so that gives us an absolutely huge amount of just cage room never mind the flights now that you've been introduced to the new bird room, it's time to set up the cages and welcome the VIBs. That is now all the birds moved into the new bird room, bar the green finches, the hawfinch hen, and a secret hybrid pair that you haven't seen yet. That's the red poles and the twites, which are behind you in the flight cages. We've got some mules and hybrids also in a flight cage. We've got our mule and hybrid pairs over here. We've got loads of canaries here, which we're using for feeders, and we're gonna be breeding straight, of course. Uh, and then we've got our linnets over there. We've got some young red poles that we need to DNA sex some young canaries that need DNA in as well. Uh, it's absolutely fabulous in here as well. I'm so pleased with the turnout. I think the birds look fantastic in these cages. It's a lovely clean environment for them as well. And it's a place that I can really come to enjoy them. I also a huge thank you to my mate Dave who has very kindly made me some wire dividers custom built for these UPVC cages and the other UPVC cages. They're really nicely finished, they're primed and they're gloss coated in black these particular ones and they fit very nicely into our UPVC cages. 
just like so. Uh, huge thank you and a great job. They're made of, uh, the, of course, the normal bar and punch bar as well. So that's really ideal. And they're gonna be very useful come the breeding season if we need to divide any birds off, especially cock birds if they are getting over aggressive, whether it be breeding European siskins, whether it be siskin mules, anything that needs them, we've got wire dividers so we can introduce the birds, let them see each other without actually being able to attack or bother each other. So whilst we've got this nice clean and sterile environment that is mite free because all of the cages are brand new, it means that I really need to make sure that we're on top of mite and the only way that mite can be brought into this bird room is on the birds, not in the cages. So I've made sure to treat all the birds for mite. I've used a product from Sam One Bird Products to do this and I've also been sprinkling some DE earth, the diatomaceous earth from Multimite in the bottom of the cages. I've been putting some conditioning seed on top of that and the birds have been really enjoying picking at that. It's a natural supplement that the birds can eat uh, and they'll also rub into the feathers. And I'm really hoping to see a difference in the mite levels in here and be able to control it far easier. I'll also be going around the cages weekly with clean and clear check mite, cleaning any gaps where mite could linger to make it as mite free and as clean as possible. Okay, enough of me babbling on now. Let's take a closer look at all the birds that are in this new bird room. We're gonna see how they're getting on in their new cages. Uh, and let me know what you think in the comment section of this video. If you have enjoyed today's video, looking at the new cages, looking at everything in the new bird room, looking at the birds, then please make sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss any more future content. And if you have enjoyed it today, smash a like on it and comment down below, what do you think of the new bird room? Also make sure to follow us on social media for regular and daily updates on all the birds, see how they're getting on and see loads of behind the scenes footage and close up videos. Now, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.